Right, we're back with uh, Brielle Von Hugel, and we want to find out her career, how it started, all the where it started from, and where it's going. And to interview uh, Brielle is my videographer, my <laughs> film critic, and my co-producer. Let's give it up for Rocco Pasafume. <laughs> now with Rocco and Brielle. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Howie. Um, first, as um, Howie's already said, we definitely appreciate you coming all the way here. Um, in terms of my first question in regards to your music, what, where, I mean, you've already talked about this before, but in more depth, tell us where the, the desire to be, you know, to do music came from. Like, when did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? I realized that this is what I want to do when I, it was the only thing that I was comfortable doing. So I felt most myself when I was singing and performing and on stage, and uh, I just knew that in my heart that was what I was supposed to be here and doing. So uh, yeah, I just had to be more serious about it and go for it. Um, talk about like what were your influences going, growing up in terms of um, how you shaped yourself as a singer and songwriter? So I started off in dancing school, which got uh, me used to the stage and makeup and performing. and. Uh, and I became more interested in the singing aspect. Uh, my dad was a doo-wop singer in the Dupree's, uh, so I'm very inspired by oldies music, and uh, music was always just uh, my thing, and uh, what made my heart happy. So uh, yeah, so I was in dancing competitions, and then I did the singing portions, I did uh, local talent shows, karaoke nights, anything I could do, um, as well as pageants and such, but, and then I went in, on to school and did choir, and uh, uh, it was just, who I was. In terms of, you know, you had such huge national exposure early on, you know, doing American Idol at 17 years old. Where have you see your career, your, your, as a recording artist, going in the road long since that? So since Idol, I've been writing and recording with my team. And uh, while I was on Idol, I was not allowed to write original music or record. Um, so this is fairly new to me, which and I've just been loving it. I love being a songwriter and singing my own lyrics. Um, so yeah, we're recording an album and I'm hoping to do a tour. It's pop music inspired by soul and um, I love what we're doing and I love my team and 2017 I have a lot of big plans. So. Name some of your big plans. One of your big plans in particular, I should address everybody, is a, um, a series of uh, videos on the internet that were already like really won over with me long, like even before uh, Ms. Von Hugo was involved known as uh, Postmodern Ju Jukebox, which anybody who has not seen it, you should see it, it's fascinating. Uh, talk about Postmodern Jukebox, why you became part of it, and why people should come to a Postmodern Jukebox concert. So I was a big Postmodern Jukebox fan before I was involved with it, so it's so awesome to be a part of that family now. Uh, next week I'm leaving for a month US tour with them, um, and for those of you who don't know, they take uh, modern pop songs that are on the radio and rearrange them to sound like they're from the 40s and the 50s and it's really really cool uh, it's real music live music so I think the closest we're coming to here is Westbury so maybe you guys could come out uh, I think that's February 2nd but all the dates are on my website freealvonugle.com it's just a really fun vibe and it's real music and I, I love that I get to be featured where do you see yourself going down the road? You said you have a lot of plans for uh, this year. Talk about where, what would you like to achieve musically? Do you have anybody that you want to work with? Do you have a st particular style of music you want to explore? I mean, it really runs the gamut in terms of where you would like to address this. So I've recently been taking a lot of chances with my writing. I just wrote an EDM, an electronic music dance song with uh, um, Nervo, their two sisters from, I believe, Australia. And um, we wrote a club song, which is super unusual for me because I'm a pop writer, and um, that was super fun. So I would love to continue to co-write with other artists and collab, and maybe somebody big like Sia. She's my biggest influence, so I'm dreaming big for 2017. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, in terms of your output so far, it's been most impressive. Anybody who um, is curious should definitely go to um, you know, check out uh, Miss Von Eugle's music on uh, iTunes and wherever you can buy music. It's all there. And um, we definitely look forward to what you have coming down the pike for this year and beyond. So thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Ronco. Thank you so much. <laughs>